Okay, YouTube, I'm here today with two Harbor Freight sawhorses I want to give you a quick review on. Um, we picked these up yesterday and put them together. They are normally $39.99. We got them on sale for $32.99 and we had a 20% coupon. So pretty good deal. Um, both of these, they are rated for a thousand pounds in each. So the box says we'll support up to 2,000 pounds in between both of them. Like I said, you get two in the box. They too do come disassembled. Um, so there is assembly required. Every part is disassembled. You can see, you know, there's four screws in each one of these cross members, um, but fairly simple to get put together. Um, it has a 32 inch top. The box says fiberglass top. It's actually a fiberboard top. Um, these I can see going at some point and needing to be replaced, but no big deal. You know, I always have a scrap two by four or two by six in the shop that we can throw on it. Uh, really no problems getting them put together. It does take a little bit of time because of the amount of bolts and screws you have to put in, but these to me are an awesome deal. Uh, they're about probably, you know, depending on what you compare them to in your big box stores, they're a lot cheaper and quality wise, I think it's there. Uh, these will not be in my shop, won't be folded up much, we'll be using them just like this and they'll be priced sitting around like this, but as you can see they have these little wing nut uh, deals and you just unclip them on each side. You, unfold, you unscrew them, pull them up and you can see they can, you know, store up for tight storage. These are nice little guys. I do believe that they're rated at what they say they are. The only tip I'll give you in assembly is I would assemble the whole leg assembly, then put the top on last. It makes it very hard to get the screws in. Um, I probably would drill four new holes and not use the original mounting holes. If you do use the pre-marked holes they have on this fiberboard top, you'll find that you're off alignment about by an inch, or at least on mine they were. Um, and I know that's the problem with a lot of the Harbor Freight stuff is that you do get uh, stuff that's marked out wrong, but I had no problem. The first one I assembled by putting all the bottom together then putting the top on. The second one I decided to get tricky and try using the mounting holes and I ended up having to unscrew that top and put it back on again. So that's the only tip YouTube, but this one here I think's a win. So go out and get yourself some. We'll talk to you later.